Now in this part of the question we're given that f of x equals the natural log of x plus 2 and then minus x plus 1. And we've got to show that if we have f of x equals 0 then a root to this equation, in other words the value of x that makes this equal to 0, lies between 2 and 3. Now in order to do this what I'm going to do is use the method of change of sign and I'll just explain very quickly what that's about. If I was to draw the graph of f of x equals the natural log of x plus 2 minus x plus 1 I'm not too sure what it would look like but what I'm going to do is work out the values at x equals 2 and x equals 3 and if I find that when I plot these values on this graph that the graph crosses the x-axis over this interval the graph might go down like this or it might go from a negative number to a positive number if it crosses the x-axis then there must be a root, a value of x which makes f of x equal to zero. So first of all let's see what the value of f of x would be when we put in the value 2, x is 2. So what I'll do is do f of 2 and f of 2 when x is 2 would be the natural log of 2 add 2, in other words natural log of 4 and then minus 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1. So if you use a calculator to work this out what you should find you get is 0 0.38629 and so on. So that value if we were plotting the graph would be above the x-axis. Let's just imagine say it's up here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is work out what the value of f of 3 would be when we put x equals 3 into the equation. So let's do f of 3 so that would be the natural log of 3 plus 2 which would be the natural log of 5 and then minus 3 add 1 would be minus 2 and again if you do that on a calculator what you end up with is minus 0 0.39056 and so on so if I was to put that value on the graph that would be below the x-axis, say somewhere down here. So what is happening is whatever the graph looks like it will cross the x-axis providing the graph is continuous, that is, that there's no breaks in the graph. Now there are no breaks in the graph between 2 and 3 because I'm not dividing by 0 for instance that would give a break in the graph. This is a continuous graph, there's no breaks so the graph would come down through here like this. That means that we've got a root between 2 and 3 now because there's been a change of sign. That root would be that value there, that would be our root. Let's just put it in like that. Alright? So to finish this what you need to do is write a statement in which I've just done earlier. I've said that since f of x is continuous in this interval 2 to 3 there are no breaks in other words and there is a change of sign we've gone in this case from a plus to a minus then there must be a root in the interval. So hopefully you've understood that method and that brings us to the end now of this part of the question.